guys, it's Shane Head for Pop RVs coming to you today from Joaquin, Texas, over here in the Toledo Bend country, right on the Texas-Louisiana border. We've got a nice find for you today. What you see before you is a 2019. This is the Castaway by Palomino, the Columbus model, 77 MB. Uh, this is a 39-foot bumper pool travel trailer, bunkhouse model, tremendous large floor plan, lots of sleeping capacity, really nice setup washer dryer connections queen size bed in the master i'm going to go ahead and do a quick walk around and show you all the features on this unit if you have any questions about the unit you can give us a call at the number below and reach out to me directly shane head i'm the local rep my phone number is 903-293-3851 so let's go ahead and do the quick walk around here guys we've got both the awnings open so you can see you've got a, a main entrance awning and then an additional patio awning those do have LED lights underneath. Both awnings look to be in good serv serviceable condition. No rips or tears. All the structures as far as the arms and supports seem to be in really good condition. You do have auto automatic uh, leveling jacks on here as well. We'll go ahead and give you a view here looking from the rear forward. It's a little bit of a Little bit of a tight quarters here where they've got it parked guys it does sit outside so it could use a good wax and polish but overall the exterior is really in good condition just needs a little uh wax and polish to remove a little bit of the oxidation uh, everything seems to be really ready to go only issue we do need to make you aware of is the outside glass on this dinette slide out is missing so that will need to be replaced that's something you can order directly from Palomino, uh, real easy replacement. So be aware that that is something that'll be need to be replaced. Another nice feature that it has that I like is it does have the aluminum step above swing in steps. These is a much more stable entry platform than the standard swing under steps. As we give you a look forward, there is the slide out there in that front located master bedroom. Tires have date codes from the 42nd week of 2018. They still look really good. Spare tire package, sealed underbelly. And as we go ahead and show you, here's your auto level controls. You also have those inside on the touch screen from a uh, little Lippert Control LCI company. Up here on the front cap. Again, a little bit of hazing just from sitting out here in the sun, but it's not burnt. Just needs a good wax and polish. Power tongue jack, two 30-pound propane bottles, house battery. And as we get over here to the business side of the RV or the driver's side, you've got your three other slide outs. So you've got the other slide out in the master bedroom. Your uh, bunk room slide out there in the middle. And then your living room kitchen slide out there in the back and guys this is a unique floor plan in that this bunk room is mid cabin it's not in the back so it's a really nice flowing natural floor plan and guys they haven't really traveled with this unit they bought it new uh, and have pretty much parked it here to use for additional uh, space for guests and uh, it's all hooked up to RV sewage, as far as your gray water, black water, they've got water hooked up to it. They've got their 50 amp service going to it as well. Lots of good storage options. You got a large storage. This is not pass through, but this is underneath the, the, the queen size bed and the master. So you see those two drawers there. You have access to this storage by lifting the bed up inside as well. Of course, over here, just your standard City water connections, water filter, wash down shower. Give you another good look at the seals and gaskets. All the seals and gaskets on the on the slide outs look good. The running gear for the slide outs, I don't see any significant rust. Same way on the frame rails for the RV, no rust there. It's being a Southern United States camper, you don't have to worry about salt erosion or anything like that. Again, really just needs a good cleanup got this nice large i got pictures of this but this really tall storage unit here it's not a pass-through but it gives you a lot of room again your 50 amp service coming in and back and again guys it needs a little cleanup the caulking around the seam here has got a little little blacking to it from sun and fade but again 
nothing a good wash job won't address. Here at the rear of the RV, you've got your rear backup monitor, your aluminum roof access ladder. You've got your built-on with expanded metal base cargo tray. Put your ice chest and what other gear you want to carry with you. And we're going to go ahead and transition to the interior. And guys, again, if you want to see this in person, give us a call at the number you see below. If you'd like to go ahead and pre-qualified for financing, or maybe even want to go ahead and get a preliminary offer in contingent on your personal inspection. So as we come into the RV, kind of mid cabin here, you're gonna come in and we'll get this door closed. So we don't have the sunlight bleaching us in here. So you look to your left, you've got your kitchen living room area. Straight away, we'll go ahead and hit it, it is your bunk room with your two bunks. There is a mounting bracket for another TV, coax outputs. You do have your own heating and cooling vent in there. Of course, privacy door. Privacy door entering the hallway down to the bathroom and master bedroom area, but we'll go ahead and hit the main living area. Really nice place to be. Solid surface countertops, double uh, stainless steel kitchen sink, the Norcold stainless steel RV refrigerator freezer it can run on gas or electric, and you've got your three burner cooktop oven and microwave with vent hood. Another nice built in cabinet hutch area here, USB charging ports. We'll give you a view of that slide out. Really nice wood trim cabinet work in here. Everything looks really nice, very residential. Another nice thing is you have day and night shades. You've got these MCD blackout shades and the MCD sun shades, so best of both worlds. You've got nice window treatments above the windows. Gives it a really premium look. You've got this underlit area here at the island to give you a nice um, uh, look during the evening hours. Bar stools. Theater seating was a power reclining option on both seats, USB ports, storage area, all your remotes. You do have the um, smart TV in here, which is nice. It's got the Netflix button, Disney, Hulu, all that on there. Sleeper sofa. Looking across the way, you've got a large flat screen TV that's on a swing out uh, base. So if you look down in there, you can move that around to the angle you want. Sound bar, Blu-ray player, Furion fireplace. We'll just kind of give you a view from the living room looking forward. Guys, just a really, really nice floor plan inside. Super nice. It's very hot today and the AC is cooling well in here. Uh, there are two overhead AC units. This is a fully ducted heating and cooling system. So really nice there. Here's that Lippert control center that I was telling you about. It's got your monitor panel for all of your... Let me zoom in on that. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. So that's got all your tank monitors. Everything you want. Your awning controls, your leveling controls, your lighting, master light switches. Uh, even your owner's manuals are all here. Uh, it also has the uh, built-in Wi-Fi gateway. There's your password and everything for that. You can scan it right there with your smartphone. We've already hit the bunk room, so now let's go ahead and head down the hallway and go to the bathroom, closet, and master bedroom area. So, got a privacy door here entering into the bathroom area and one going into the bedroom. Your bathroom closet has your Dometic head. This is a porcelain head, not plastic. Bathroom sink and countertop with your GFCI protected outlet over there. You've got your built-in medicine cabinet. Again, you've got those MCD day and night shades. Super nice large shower with a, a detachable shower head. Nice bench, built-in shelving, a nice simulated Tuscan tile enclosure. Kind of a beveled frosted glass uh, sliding door. And in this large closet is where you're pre-wired for your washer dryer. All your electricity and plumbing's right here. Your dryer vent location there in the back. Nice setup. Again, nice area to do laundry, fold, uh, fold, fold towels, linen cabinet. And this even has a hanging rod in it as well, which is a nice feature. And then the master bedroom, a really nice place to be. You've got this bamboo memory foam mattress. <clears throat> and this is actually a king size bed. Here in the slide out, got more of those blackout shades. 
you do have this large front bay window where you can take this out if you want natural sunlight in here, which is kind of a nice feature. And that's made to fit in there. Flat screen TV, nice built-ins here as far as your dresser, three cab, three drawer, uh, three doors for your hang-up closet. Underneath the bed, you do have your slide-out drawers that we showed you. You can raise the bed up to reach that storage that you can also catch from the outside. You've got this sliding pocket door here with a full-blown mirror in it. You can see yours truly. Guys, overall, the RV is really in good shape. No, no signs of water intrusion on the ceiling. Everything's real clean, no odors. Everything seems to be in good functional condition. All available for you to come check out and make your own. So there it is, guys. It's the 2019 Palomino Castaway from Columbus, which is a Forest River brand. That's a mouthful. But just know it's a 39-foot bunkhouse travel trailer available here at Pop RVs and PopRVs.com. Again, if you'd like to make an offer, you'd like to set up a showing, like to get pre-qualified for financing, give us a call at the number below or reach out again directly to me, Shane Head, and my number 903-293-3851. So from Joaquin, Texas, for Pop RVs, Shane Head says, thanks for watching.